Hey there, and uh, welcome back to linuxjabba.com, where we teach you about Linux jobs. My own name is Sean Me Joseph, and I will be running the video today. Whether you are a seasoned system administrator, or you are a freshman just looking for your first Linux job, here is what we teach you here, how to go about it. So, let's get started. My email is showpopulous at gmail.com, so if you have any email, please send it to me, and I will answer your questions if you have any questions all right for today we're going to be looking at uh, linuxjobber.com our website and um, number question number four commands and permissions um, tutorial number four these are the videos that you can look at if you want some um, learning and if you want to take the test and practice test let's just say you're studying for the RHCSA exam here's that here are the tests that you're likely to the kind of test that you're likely to come across so we'll be looking at question number four today which says that uh, create a file called gossip in my company web a question like this will probably give you about seven points and um, the question is divided into three parts if you look at it one two and three and each one will probably give you about two points which makes a total of six and you get about one point for doing the work so now if we look at this question, it says create a file called gossip in my company web that's readable by web group but not by carry. So now let's go and get that done very quickly. So as our site administrator Jason, the name Jason, our site administrator, we go and take a look at um, the directory called my company and look at what we have in there. And you can see the web directory in there and you can see, let's see what he has inside of it. And you can see the directory web has nothing inside of it. So we're going to put something in that directory called gossip as requested by our question. So let's say something in the file, we've opened up the file now, gossip, and we're going to say say something as test, so that when we test it, we'll know that it has done what we want it to do. If the, if the file is empty, it's not good for us. So, okay, there's a problem somewhere. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and see what we did. Okay, I didn't put the gossip in there so web directory um, file gossip so we do it again say something as test and then we close the file okay good so now let's test user carry to see if user carry can access this file called gossip we switch to user carry and then we see if we can cat, which is output, the content of that of that file called gossip. Very good. It says say something as test. So carry can do it. Now the question says to not allow carry to do this. So to take out that permission, we use we go back to our user JSON and we use something called set file access list to remove that permission for carry. And the way to do that is to say modify for user carry see how simple this is and then all we just have to do is remove all the permissions for carry and um, state the file that we're talking about web web gossip see how easy that is and then we're done that's all we need to do so now if carry tries <coughs> carry will not be able to access that file anymore so we're done with that question now. Let's look at the next question. The next task. The we're done with the task. So the next task says grant Matt permission to read gossip. Now Matt is not a member of this group. So if we look at Matt, ID for Matt, you can see Matt is a member of sales, but not web. So if Matt, what Matt tries to read gossip, Matt will not be able to do it. So to get that done. We're going to have to do set file access list modify for user Matt. We want him to be able to read 
my company web gossip unfortunately if Matt tries to read right now Matt will still not be able to read do you know why just because Matt does not have permission to see the to enter the parent directory which is web so because if we look at web ls ls dash airline of web you can see that Matt is not a member of web this is web so Matt will not be able to enter so now let's the easiest way to just allow Matt for the purpose of the tutorial is to make the web directory all readable for everyone and um, now sudo schmod now anyone that accesses this directory can do it so now let's test permission for Matt so switch to user Matt and then let's cat my company copy the output to to the screen for gossip see now Matt even though he's not it doesn't have um uh, it's not a member of the group he can still output he can still read that file now let's look at the last tag on the question it says to create a directory called user local complaints that is writable by my users and web group but not by Kerry Kerry is a member of the web group but we want every other member of the web group to be able to read that folder complaints but not Kerry so the way to do that is to first of all go back to the administrator and create the folder so we're gonna do a sudo make directory user local complaints and now if we look at the permissions on complaints on complaints we're gonna see that it's owned by root and root group so now <coughs> since root is not going to be the user the web group is going to be user or the my users group let's just change the group to one of the two I'll just pick um, web so we're gonna do you know we're gonna do change the group which is um, we're gonna use chum and I'm gonna change it to web user local complaint so now if you look at the file you can see it's owned by the web group but still the web group cannot read cannot write even though they can read so the web group owns that is a, is a group owner of that file but still it cannot write to get that done we still have to use the set file access list set file access list and um, access list for we're going to use modified for user oh this time we're going to use group g um, web we're going to say to be able to write but does anyone see what's wrong with this right now let's put the file name first so we don't forget um, if the user if the user if the group can not enter the directory then they will not be able to write to it anyway so this is not going to work as the question asks so part of that question is to know what to do and why it wouldn't work so if you change it to executable now they can write to it otherwise you'll just find out that the group cannot write to to complaints so if we look at this now it's done for web and my users now the last one is that Kerry is part of the web group how do we make sure that Kerry cannot enter into the directory or write to the directory the only way the way to do it would be to remove permission to remove all permissions for Kerry so Kerry and we change this to user new so now we're done with the entire question now let's test it if we switch to user let's pick a member of the web group uh, Kim let's switch to Kim 
and now let's try to write to that directory so we're going to create a file called possible just possible because we we believe it should be possible for Kim to write let's just call it possible see now there's, there are no errors so we know Kim what Kim is able to write to that directory so now let's test the same thing for user carry so now let's get out of Kim and switch to user carry let's try to do the same thing we're gonna do a touch um user local complaints now we don't want to use possible we want to create a file called impossible because we know it should be it should not be possible let's try it permission denied even though they're members of the same group so Kerry cannot do it so now we know we're, we're finished with our question so that ends the tutorial for today if you have any questions like i said before my own name is Shop shown me joseph and my email is showpopulous at gmail.com if you have any questions and if you're looking for the next job please contact me and i can help you out thank you and have a nice day